Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to add a comment into a web page, uh, into a HTML document or a CSS document. Okay, and they are slightly different. Okay, comments are normally used to add your own details, such as your, your name, candidate number and center number, or you might be asked to add any other pieces of text as a comment. So you've got to read the question carefully. I'm just going to put my comment here on line 18. Um, and this is in my HTML document. So here we click on this little icon here that says apply comment. Click on that and you'll see apply HTML comment. I'm in a HTML document, so it's fine for me to apply a HTML comment. So I'll click on that and this is what an HTML comment looks like. Okay, um, so I'm just going to type in uh, name. Okay, so you put this stuff in. Okay, so it would just be whatever, but that's how you apply the comment to a HTML document. Now I'll look at a style sheet, okay, and so here's my style sheet and I need to add a comment to that. So if I click again on apply comment, you have HTML comment and then you have just below that, this is the comment uh, format that we use for CSS documents. So I'll just click on that. And the reason you need to use a different format for a CSS document is because you're not supposed to add HTML to a CSS document, um, especially if you're told in the exam not to have any HTML tags in your CSS. You must be careful not to use this one because you'll lose a mark if you've got any H any form of HTML tags in your CSS. So this is the kind of comment we need to add. And you'll see it looks different to the other one. I'll just show you the difference in a minute. Okay, so there, there's the, that's the CSS one. You can see how that looks. So it's got the forward slash, the backslash, sorry, the asterisk, and then it's in between. So that the details are in between. And then here's the HTML one. Okay, so it's got the angled brackets, which we use for our HTML tags. So that's the difference between the two. Okay, so please make sure you're using the correct comment type for the correct document. 